Hello, hello, hello. So glad to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to 31 Days in the Word. We are now at day 28. God continues to bless and bless and bless. So I hope that you're ready. Won't you turn uh, turn now to Proverbs, the 28th chapter, so that we might hear, amen, what the Lord has to say to us today. Are you ready? I have my word, have it on my screen over here, amen. Uh, but we thank God for this opportunity to read the word of God. I am reading uh, from the New Living Translation. Amen. From the New Living Translation. Whatever your translation is, if you would just travel along with us, with Proverbs, the 28th chapter. Amen. Praise God. And here we go. The wicked flee. Though no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. When a country is rebellious, it has many rulers, but a ruler with discernment and knowledge maintains order. A ruler who oppresses the poor is like a driving rain that leaves no crops. Those who forsake instruction praise the wicked, but those who heed it resist them. Evildoers do not understand what is right, but those who seek the Lord understand it fully. Better the poor whose walk is blameless than the rich whose ways are perverse. A discerning son heeds instruction, but a companion of gluttons disgraces his father. Whoever increases wealth by taking interest or profit from the poor amasses it for another who will be kind to the poor. If anyone turns a deaf ear to my instruction, even their prayers are detestable. Whoever leads the upright along an evil path will fall into their own trap, but the blameless will receive a good inheritance. The rich are wise in their own eyes. One who is poor and discerning sees how deluded they are. When the righteous triumph, there is great elation. But when the wicked rise to power, people go into hiding. Whoever conceals their sins does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. Blessed is the one who always trembles before God, but whoever hardens their heart falls into trouble. Like a roaring lion or a charging bear is a wicked ruler over a helpless people. A tyrannical ruler practices ex extortion, but, who, but one who hates ill-gotten gain will enjoy a long reign. Anyone tormented by the guilt of murder will seek refuge in the grave. Let no one hold them back. The one who walks is blameless. The one who, whose walk is blameless is kept safe. But the one whose ways are perverse will fall into a pit. Those who work their land will have abundant food. But those who, cause fa who chase fantasies will have their fill of poverty. A faithful person will be richly ble blessed but one eager to get rich will not go unpunished. To show partiality is not good, yet a person will do wrong for a piece of bread. The stingy are eager to get rich and are unaware that poverty awaits them. Whoever rebukes a person will in the end gain favor rather than one who has a flattering tongue. Mm. Whoever robs their father or mother and says it's not wrong is partner to one who destroys. The greedy stir up conflict, but those who trust in the Lord will prosper. Those who trust in themselves are fools, but those who walk in wisdom are kept safe. Kept, kept safe. Those who give to the poor will lack nothing, but those who close their eyes to them receive many curses. When the wicked rise to power, people go into hiding. But when the wicked perish, the righteous thrive. Amen, somebody. Praise be unto God. Want us to take a look at verse two, if you don't mind, Proverbs 28, the second chapter. Amen. When a country is rebellious, it has many rulers, but a ruler with discernment and knowledge maintains order. Hmm. Well, I also want us to take a look at that. Amen. Um, from this standpoint. When there is more rot within a nation, its government topples easily. But wise and knowledgeable leaders bring stability. Recently read this article, and in the article, um, it was about the moral rot of America. It 
said, this is Trump's ministry of truth, the new American normal. It's impossible to overstate the enormity of it. That's why the alliance is collapsing um, with our allies, um, especially with Germany. And it finds no basis. Germany finds no basis for cooperation. Trump's America stands for nothing. Uh, Rex Tillerson, um, the former secretary, secretary of state, told recent graduates in a speech going wobbly on the truth means we go wobbly on America. European foreign, European Union's um, senior foreign, foreign policy official um, heaped scorn on Trump recently saying that screaming and shouting and insulting and bullying systemically destroys and dismantles everything that is already in place. And is a, it's the mood of our times. Um, and Here's the thing, leadership from the top, amen, that moral rot um, that we see um, from chap from verse two um, is keeping us in such an unbalanced state. Whenever there is not a focus on morality, we find ourselves struggling to do anything that God has called us to do. Now, I'm using this article to discuss the moral rot that we see in our country. I mean, truthfully, until our country really um, takes a stand and repents of its sin, especially the sin of slavery, um, we are going to continue to see the moral rot and the decay of our country. But it is incumbent upon us who know the Lord to be mindful that we can't just sit idly by and not take control and authority as has been given to us to make a change in our world. Our country is in turmoil, but I'm very clear that God is not the author of confusion. And so the one thing that we can make sure that we do as Christians is find balance in our personal lives. Make sure that we are creating balance in our homes, create balance in our churches, create balance in our communities so that we are not continuing to see the moral rot of our country. What eats at America and so its place in the world is moral rot, unrelenting blight that emanates from on high. But guess what? God who sits high is not the one who is emanating moral rot. As people, we have the authority to do that which God has called us to do, to stand as the righteousness of God. I hope you have a great day today. Because when we think about the moral right of our country, we have to remember we have authority. What we speak, what we do makes a difference. Hope you have a great day. Thank you for joining me today for 31 Days in the Word. And I will see you tomorrow.